So again, I want to thank all of you for being here. By the way, I see there's a few signs, uh, different maps here. They were, they were provided by HR Green, and those are um, maps of our member cities. So if you get a chance, to take a look. Thank you, HR Green, for that. Um, again, I'm pleased to have everyone here today. Look at that. Vanna, please. Vanna, thank you. Um, all righty then. So again, you know, we're, we really are excited to have our um, counties represented here. We really do need to work together um, now more than ever. I've had the privilege of meeting with uh, some of you gentlemen uh, privately on different issues, and you've really respected that, and uh, I, I really appreciate that from you. But now I'd like to uh, introduce our legislative chair, Mary Pitrick, if she would come up, please. Take it away. I'll eat your meal while you're okay. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you again for coming. Uh, I'm pleased to present to you this afternoon the respective County Board Chairman of Kane, Kendall, and DeKalb Counties. Our next speaker is Jeffrey Metzger, Chairman of the DeKalb County Board. Chairman Metzger has served on the DeKalb County Board for the past nine years plus, representing District 12, and is currently the Chairman of the County Board and Forest Preserve President. Mr. Metzger has also served as the County Chairman for the Health and Human Services Committee on the County Economic Development Committee, County Finance Committee, and the ETSB Board. He is also one of the River Valley Workforce Investment Board CEOs. Mr. Metzger retired two years ago from Elgin Community College where he was employed for 33 years in the position of Senior Director of Technology Services. In the summer of 2002, he became a member of the Board of Directors for the Open Door Rehabilitation Center in Sandwich and is chairman of the Property Management Committee. He has been a columnist in the local news media and keeps constituents up to date on county issues. Mr. Mesker was born in Naperville and moved to Sandwich in 1993. He and his wife Mara reside in Sandwich where they own and operate an antique store and they have one son. Chairman Metzger. Thank you. Um, appreciate that uh, introduction. And before I get started, I know that we've already gone in the room, but there's a couple people, a, a couple groups that I need to recognize. This table right here is just part of the administration for DeKalb County, and it's just an outstanding group. Uh, it's a collaborative team that works together. What I'm going to show you t uh, this afternoon, most of which would not happen without the administrative team we've got. Uh, we're very proud of the work that they all do, and this is just a sample of the team that we've got together, which is just outstanding. Two board members, Vice Chairman Stoddard uh, has done fantastic work for the, the county board, and as uh, Vice Chairman has taken on some projects that uh, we have discussed and taken the lead on, and has just uh, done a great job getting some new initiatives started. Ruth Antibias, some of you know, uh, has been on the board for a number of years, an outstanding board member, and also a past board chairperson. So she's addressed this group uh, on occasion, and uh, it's just, we, we've got a great, we're 24 board members, but uh, somehow or another we end up compromising and getting a lot of work done. Uh, we have a, a new, I can't call you a new mayor anymore, but uh, Mayor Olson Sandwich, you had a full plate when you started here. And I've just done a small plate now, but a larger plate that was full when you started. And uh, I'm very proud of the, the town that I live in and the work that you've done along with uh, some of the, 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 uh, uh, the city council. And right here, Dave Baker, you heard that I've been on the board of directors with Open Door Rehabilitation for a number of years. Dave is the executive director, and if you only knew what goes on behind the scenes with the state of Illinois funding and to keep an outstanding organization functioning. Uh, most of that credit goes to Dave Baker, and I'm so glad you're here today and you represent a great organization. Appreciate the work you've done. And as far as chasing people out of the state of Illinois, so true. I hear it all the time, and unfortunately, the retirement dollars, and from doctors to blue collar workers, many of them already have their houses purchased in other states. I hear it constantly, and it, it, it's a real shame, but it's the truth. Anyway, back to DeKalb County. I know we're short on time, so I'm going to skim through as much as I can, as quickly as I can. Uh, we can go ahead and go to the first slide. 
Uh, you can see up here, I'm not going to read every word verbatim. I think most of you can read most of the print. Uh, we have 19 townships, 360, uh, 634 square miles. As I mentioned before, we've got 24 board members, 12 of which are up for re-election this year. Uh, we have 525 full-time employees. Our budget this year is 77 million, 14 municipalities, and the size of our county is a little over 105,000. Next slide. This was really exciting this year. You can go ahead and punch through and get the... Uh, this was exciting for us. DeKalb uh, and NIU uh, was awarded the IHS, IHSA uh, football championship. Uh, we have the odd numbers from 2013 uh, until 20... Do you recall what year? No, uh, several years uh, that we have. Uh, and you can see some of the really positive things. Uh, we had a great impact as far as economic development. Uh, there was a group of folks that worked very hard to prepare for it. Uh, we heard nothing but positive feedback. And as you can see, the bottom line, $800,000 roughly, uh, came into the county area uh, for this. Uh, not all of our job is always fun and games, uh, but I was excited when we were uh, one of the sponsors uh, for the IHSA game where we were uh, informed that we could do a, a commercial for Comcast that would go statewide on Sportsnet. My background is videography, and uh, we had an opportunity to put some slides up, and I said, no, I'm going to do a commercial. This is going to be fun. And uh, over a few weeks, we were able to put a commercial together, and it was supposed to air three times, and it actually aired 26 times. So we got really good exposure. And if you want to go ahead and click it, Roger, this is what aired. We got that to air 26 times, of course, trying to attract, attract some new economic development to the county. And I'm going to break this down a little bit as we go. Agriculture uh, remains the single largest land use in DeKalb County and one of the most important elements of the county's econ economy. Next slide. Uh, agriculture economics, we've got 930 farms, 370,000 over 370,000 acres, which is 91% of the total 406,000 plus acres in the county. Average size is 399 acres. When I started on the board, I thought five acres was a lot. But some of our, we have some very uh, talented agricultural folks on our, our 24 member board. And my gosh, the size of some of their farms, uh, 399 looks small. Uh, value of product sold, over $302,000, $189 $189 million from crops, which is 63%, and $112 million, which is uh, livestock, which is 37%. Next slide. Uh, agricultural economics, I'm just going to skim through these really quick. Um, a lot of permits, uh, 70 building permits, and this is going to lead up to something. Uh, the value of the agriculture was, uh, construction was over $6 million. Uh, new farmhouses and improvements uh, to existing farmhouses, 2.4, and new ag buildings, uh, an additional total of 3.8. And as we come up to the next slide, which is that one right there, uh, one of the one of the initiatives that we needed to do over several years, and we finally were able to do it this past year, with the leadership from uh, Paul Miller uh, on our, our county board uh, with planning and zoning, we were able to put together an updated um, egg focus as far as our, our building ordinances. They were very old, outdated, and some of our uh, farm community were having a very difficult time moving into more of a, an ag business. So we worked several months on that, and I'm proud to say that we were able to complete that. And uh, it made a lot of folks happy and encouraged some future growth in the ag business area. Uh, our green energy, uh, our wind farm, uh, you can go ahead and click it one more time. Uh, 56 towers uh, last year uh, translated to uh, equal size, so that's a value of 22 million 750,000 plus. Next slide. Uh, I plan on going a little bit more into depth on some of these things, but we'll run a little bit late. Our watershed planning, again, another joint project 
uh, that we've uh, worked with with the Kane County and DeKalb, and uh, it's just uh, a group of folks that uh, are really trying to work hard on uh, keeping track of uh, our, our water supply. Obviously, uh, that's a very important uh, part of all of our lives. Next one. Uh, zero Waste Task. One of our board members uh, came to me at uh, the beginning of last year and was anxious to take on this initiative. Uh, since then, uh, we've adopted a zero waste uh, guiding principle for a solid waste plan, and we are in the process of also expanding our landfill, uh, which, uh, as we speak, is uh, beginning to move some dirt, and we'll be uh, bringing this to a full county board next week to see if everyone's going to start taking things in a little early. If we can start taking refuse in uh, August, we can start to generate some uh, funding a little earlier than expected, which obviously any county needs. Next one. Uh, health initiative. Uh, bike trails are becoming very popular. You can read the rest of the partnership. Uh, next slide, which kind of goes along with this. Uh, one of our very talented board members. We've got a very diverse board, whether it's agriculture, um, uh, this particular slide was done by a retired graphic artist from NIU on our board. Uh, we have attorneys. There's just a very diverse group on our board, and it's an excellent board. So it comes in real handy when we're discussing uh, some initiatives that not all of us have uh, a lot of in-depth knowledge of. This is going to be a kickoff tomorrow where it's going to be bike-friendly stores, and uh, this sticker will be on several of the businesses so that the biking community knows that uh, they're welcome there. Next slide. This is a brand new initiative. I don't have a whole lot to discuss with you right now, but basically um, the uh, DeKalb County Foundation is looking at a better way to distribute funds. Uh, there's going to be some surveys going out, and we expect to see a lot of movement and new areas to focus in as far as uh, the DeKalb County Foundation. Open Door has been uh, a recipient of some of the uh, grants and uh, they're very much appreciative. So we're gonna go a little bit further and uh, get, get more information so those funds can be better distributed. Next slide, please. Uh, briefly, 100 year anniversary for our uh, county highway department. Our, uh, director of, uh, our, our newer director of uh, highway department is doing a, an excellent job, Nathan Schwartz. And uh, as uh, Chairman Lousa said, uh, the roads are important, moving snow is important. So these are, are very key individuals that work with us and uh, uh, keep that uh, roadway clear. Juvenile Justice Council. Uh, it's a council that I'm part of. Um, we've recently gotten a grant for 80, over $81,000. And uh, you can read the, the good things that come about after this. But the most inspiring part of this is this grant was written. And in one day, we had the results of the grant that we were awarded. Amanda Christensen uh, is part of the uh, uh, committee, and I know you had an integral part of putting that grant together, and we were so excited to see it uh, not only uh, come to life, but so quickly. Usually it's just sit and wait and wait. For anyone that's been in the grant uh, uh, business, you know uh, what a, a, a game it is and how long it can take. So uh, hats off to this program. Uh, next slide, arts and entertainment. Uh, Egyptian Theater, if anyone has not been to some of these uh, uh, attractions in DeKalb County, uh, you'll want to find some time to come out here. Egyptian Theater, it's, if you're in the Art Deco, beautiful theater, right here in Sandwich, our Opera House, just a, a, a beautiful small setting, and uh, they get some very good programs in there. And of course, up north, the Stagecoach Players. Classic car shows, everyone loves a good car show, Farmer's Market, Corn Fest, and of course the Sandwich Fair, which we didn't have a high definition image of, but I get to talk about a little bit since I'm from Sandwich. Uh, I would not be here today if it wasn't the Sandwich Fair. Working up in Elgin, people say, how the heck did you end up down in Sandwich? We wanted to move out in the country with the family, and we started working west of Route 47. And I said, you know, I said, it's a long way, but I really like the town when we went through to, to the Sandwich Fair, which we do uh, have done on an annual basis. So we came down here and spent several weekends uh, walking the, the businesses and seeing how friendly the people were and enjoying the small shops. So again, if you have time, economic development, I got to put my economic development hand on, uh, stop out some time and enjoy some of the antique shops and uh, diners that we have here in town. Recreation. Uh, we have 16 forest preserves. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, Terry Hannon, our, our director, does an outstanding job 
uh, working with the Forest Preserve. And also, I'm going to put a shout in for Shabanau uh, State Park. There's a lot of new initiatives that are going to be moving forward out at Shabanau Lake. If you haven't been out there, take some time. It's, it's another beautiful place. You can fish, you can camp. Um, take my word for it. Uh, you go out there, you won't be disappointed. The Pumpkin Fest, I think you've probably all heard of, but what you probably don't know is there's over 25,000 people that attend the parade every year. I know that most of the folks that campaign in this room are aware of those figures, but the rest of you probably are. It's, uh, it, it, normally it's a little chilly, but it's a, a great place to go and see a really good parade. Uh, education, NIU obviously is in our backyard. Uh, we haven't always had a really strong relationship, just because folks don't have time. Dr. Baker, the new NIU president, uh, has made an attempt to work with uh, administration and myself. We had uh, a recent meeting, and in the past, it would be in a, a committee of special like economic development or health and human services, like, you know, NIU can help us here. But do you know anyone? Yeah, I know someone that has a sister that's got a brother that goes to school there and knows the chair of the department. Well, now we have an individual that we can go to directly, and every time I've done this this past year, I've gotten an answer within a few, a few, a few days instead of a few months. Uh, so uh, the relationship we've got going, and I know uh, Chairman Mundy, uh, you're having the same uh, luck that we are with Dr. Baker. It's a very good relationship and glad to have him at NIU. Okay, uh, Amanda Christensen, I'm going to mention again, came to uh, Gary Christensen, administrator and myself, and wanted to open up uh, a computer-based uh, testing and training center. Uh, we put that together fairly quick. And I think the timing was great with all the GED changes that have uh, come about this past year. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a very good uh, turnout so far, and both for youth and folks that uh, are trying to go back and get their GED. Obviously, it's very important uh, for jobs and so forth. Kishwaukee College, doing a lot of building. At uh, the college that I worked at, we did a huge amount of building. And as uh, the growth continues and the demand for re-educating, especially some of the folks in uh, later years trying to retrain their out of work, it's important to keep up with the technology and space so that you can adequately train folks. And Kishwaukee College is doing a great job. Um, I talked about this a little bit last year, but 140 miles of fiber optic is one of the big initiatives that we completed. Again, uh, Gary Hansen. Uh, did an outstanding job taking the leadership in uh, the county for us. Uh, our county board was 100% behind it. And uh, you can see uh, what uh, the funding was alongside of there. But the bottom line is it makes DeKalb County more appealing. It gives us another resource to attract business to DeKalb County. Uh, next slide. Uh, historic uh, courthouse. I mentioned last year when I was here that we had just finished an addition. And if you go to the next slide, um, and then just go ahead and click it again. Uh, some of the things that you have to deal with when you go in an old building, we wanted to keep that look, but we also updated the technology at the same time. Uh, some of the uh, tablet-based uh, solutions as people check in, there are digital signs as far as uh, check-in, and uh, you, you have to kind of adapt to the times, but like I said, we wanted to keep the look of the building, so I think uh, we've done a really good job doing both. Uh, one of the things, again, that I kind of mentioned um, is uh, the uh, initiatives that I've worked with with Mr. Stoddard. Uh, we've come up with a, uh, a Facebook page that will be uh, I'll be talking about next, but also streaming live. We stream our, our board meetings live, and we also record them so that uh, constituents can go back and watch and, and replay, or if they weren't able to attend the meeting, they can go back and watch uh, the, the board meetings. Uh, we have, which I was surprised, uh, about an average of 50 live viewers uh, every month. Next slide. Uh, this was fun. Uh, NIU had asked me to attend a, a group of uh, 60 plus youths from uh, Southeast Asia, and uh, some of the mayors and myself got together and uh, I remember taking this picture. This young guy over my shoulder wanted a selfie, and he, took, he had someone take a selfie, so I said, okay, I've got to take a selfie too then. And uh, everyone just erupted and ran behind me, and it was just a really good day, uh, very good group. Just about finished, I'm on the last uh, couple slides. Uh, Evergreen Village, huge project. You heard me talk about it last year. It's a, a grant that we've been working on for over uh, seven years. 
been on the board uh, coming up on 10. Uh, we're finally moving forward on it, full speed ahead. It took a long time. We're over halfway through the grant process, but uh, we're finally going to be able to relocate uh, some desperately needed folks out of a, a floodplain. And uh, by the end of this month, we'll have to close on the, uh, on the uh, property. Uh, overcrowding, I have to touch on. Our jail is overcrowded. You heard me talk about it last year. Uh, I'll talk about it again this year. I think you can all read the numbers up there. I don't have to uh, repeat them. Bottom line is we're overcrowded. It's, it's over a million dollars to move these folks out of the county. And there's a little bit of a, a security issue. We've been very fortunate no one has been harmed or killed in the process of an outdated jail and also transporting inmates. Next slide. One of the uh, new deputy county administrators is sitting in the audience, Christine Johnson, who is also a state senator. Outstanding job as our treasurer and uh, deputy county administrator, doing a lot of good legislative things for us. Paul Miller, planning and zoning director, heading up the operation for Evergreen Village, and has also done some very good training for us and also for the uh, county board. And then the last slide pretty much says it all. Uh, joint projects, collaboration, partners, and working together for the citizens of DeKalb County, that's what it's all about. Uh, you have to work together. Uh, obviously, not all of us always get along. We don't always agree, but it's the compromise that's important. And fortunately for us, we've got a, a county administration and a county board that works well together, and we can come up with a compromise even though we always don't see the same result at the beginning. So uh, that's it for me. And before I leave, I have to do one thing. I have to take a picture of everybody out here because I'm doing Facebook pictures today. <laughs> I was going to do it in the middle, but I'm going to do it now. So uh, if everybody is going to smile on three, I'll take a picture. <laughs> I bet I can't get everybody in, but we got a good group. And thank you again to Metro West. One, two, three. And you can come out to our Facebook page and see your picture later. And, and, and like us. Thank you. <laughs>